Welcome once again to Mad Artist Interviews. Today we speak with a renowned ultra realistic painter from Norway, artist Henrik Arstad Alderlan. As always, the interviews are conducted by Marcin Migdal. You may find Mr. Alderlan's work at henrikaau.com. For more interviews and video workshops, visit madartistpublishing.com. It's time to get on the map. Hey everybody, my name is Marcin Migdal. I'm here for Mad Artist Publishing and uh, the completeartistbook.com. We have an exclusive with uh, one of our guest artists for the book, Henrik Oldelin. Am I, am I right to say that? Uh, yes, it's good enough. Nobody can pronounce it. I'm going to let you speak firsthand and tell everybody how you got started in art, what exactly it is that you do and where you come from. So uh, take it away. Uh, thanks. Um, well, well, I've always been fascinated and, and, and interested in, in art, uh, especially drawing when I was younger. Um, for a long time I was pretty much the only thing I was remotely good at. So, um, you know, just kept on drawing and, and doing art um, until uh, I was around 18 when I quit everything wanting to be a teacher so I could earn some money. What kind of teacher did you want to be? Uh, art teacher so I could, you know, get involved with art at the same time as I would earn some money. So you always knew that you wanted to do art in some way or another when you were younger? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Did your parents support your drawing? Absolutely. They were always been very supportive, um, even though they they don't have anything to do with art. So, um, yeah, yeah. They, it's been been, been amazing. But um, from what I know, you don't have any formal art education in university or college. That's right. Yeah, I went to to um, university to to study to be an, a teacher, uh, an art teacher, which could hardly be described as a, a formal art education. Well, I I have a, a grade in knitting and and sewing, so it's uh, it's not not a paint school. But uh, yeah, I went to this school and and. Uh, met a couple of guys that uh, was also really interested in, in painting and, and drawing as I was. Um, and then I discovered oil painting. And ever since that I just understood that. I just realized that this was my thing. Is uh, oil painting the only medium that you use or do you do anything else? Uh, it is um, the only thing I do. Um, I would like to draw more. Um, I I do go to live drawing uh, now now and again, um, but it's pretty much only oil paintings, which is part of my my uh, official production. Um, even though I, I've been wanting to pick up some some printing, also messaging printing, but it's yeah, just you know, at some point. I probably will. What inspires you? Um, well, mostly, actually, it's music right now. Um, music and movies. What um, kind of music do you listen to? Uh, well, it's a, it's a lot. Like every, every, every genre for every type of uh, mood. And but mostly, it's it's a lot of. Um, Calm indie, mixed with you know, electronic, uh, sometimes metal, sometimes you know, plain rock. Uh, that that type of of music. It's it's pretty difficult for a lot of people to get get into the industry. Now you seem to have a knack, a natural knack and ability to paint things that are photorealistic and. Uh, I mean, I've looked at your work and I'm just blown away by it. I mean, it looks like a photograph. How how do you accomplish that, such fo photorealism in your paintings? Um, you know, it's uh, well. First of all, it's it's uh, 
not supposed to be photorealism. So it's um, well, I do paint what I see. So so of course I I do use uh, photography as a reference, and then naturally it looks like a photo photography. But uh, it was never the intention of actually making it look like a photo. Um, but but as I said, it's it's pretty much just um, learning how to how to see properly and and you know, translating what you see into into um, into uh, things. What would you say is the best and the worst thing about being an artist? Uh, well, the best is. You know, like really, uh, well, you struggling with something, and 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 at the end of the day, you just managing to 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 accomplish a goal within the painting, and and just feel like you you can you can do anything within paint. You know, just having a, the best day within paint. Um, The worst thing about being an artist is uh, also a lot of stuff that really sucks with being an artist. Of course, not having a steady job, not having a steady income, I, that is not, well, yeah. Hence the term starving artist, right? Right, yeah. It's not pleasant having to think about uh, the economy every, every month. Um, and of course, uh, you're, it's very, well, at least for me, it's very independent work. So um, most of most of my days are pretty much, you know, inside of my own head, sitting in the studio, uh, not having, not being able to to bounce my ideas off anyone else because ultimately it's it's my choice and my, you know, everything is me. So, so is that is that how you prefer it? That what you prefer to sort of. Uh, ba not balance ideas of other people because you know exactly what you want to accomplish, or would you prefer to have you know other people, you know, look at your work and give you some criticism? Well, I, I well, criticism is always hard to swallow, but um, at the end of the day, I do prefer having someone around. Um, and for a long time, I did uh, back in Norway. Um, I had a couple of studio mates, um, which was great. You know honest people saying like this doesn't work this work uh, now I'm pretty much um, by myself well I do have a couple of other people around but they're, they're not into paint so right uh, yeah so I, I yeah it's I, I would say it's a good idea to have somebody somebody else there uh, get pretty inside of a bubble if you if you stay for for Along without any, any other people around. Okay. Uh, do you have any art influences? Any people that uh, that you idolize, or people that you've actually met, who you who um, you idolize? Being being from Norway, I don't really meet many <laughs> artists. I guess they're all in America, right? <laughs> yeah, they're all in America. And, uh, at some point, I, I probably I will probably move there. Um, but I do have a lot of influences, uh, both living and dead. Um, like my main ins inspirations have always been uh, neoclassicism, you know, artists like Roland uh, you know, like French Academy, Victorian painters, um, and, and these guys. Um, lately, I've been I've been uh, well, of course, a lot of current artists like Gottfried um, um, Helmein, um, Janice Oville, Jeremy Geddes, uh, all oh, the Jeremy, people. okay, well, we'll be interviewing him sometime in the yeah. next few weeks. Yeah. So if you have any questions, make sure to fire them, fire them to me and then I'll ask him on your behalf. <laughs> you know, actually, I, I know that at some point I actually sent him a mail asking for a couple of, you know, hints and tricks about, you know, uh, surfaces and, and, and brushes and paints. So, mm -hmm. 
This is kind of funny. Um, yeah, it's come yeah. full circle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he hasn't asked me about stuff yet, but. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, ask, well, I'm going to ask you about that. Take us through a, a day of, uh, of you working on a piece. Uh, tell us uh, all the way you get inspired to whether you sketch out anything or do you go straight to painting? I'm pretty straightforward with the, with the process. Um, well, uh, I might do some, some very quick sketches, like looks like stick figure people, uh, really just basic sketches just to have something on the paper. And then I go directly to taking photos. Um, and I, I do spend a lot of time with, with photography and then Photoshop, make it, um, trying to get the, the idea that I have in, in my head uh, visualized. And um, when I have a, a, have a pretty good uh, reference for painting, then I just start straight out with, with painting. And what kind of, me what kind of uh, brushes and canvas uh, or paper do you use? I paint... Well, it, it, before this year, I exclusively painted on uh, MDF panels, um, primed with uh, gesso and, and sanded down, like really smooth surfaces. Um, Is there a reason why you chose MDF? Uh, no, it's just, you know, stable, um, easy, easy to get your hands on. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Uh, and no, well, I don't know if it's a reason for it. Just probably just availability. Okay, and uh, you don't do any digital painting, really, right? No, no, not really. No, I do do um, like copy and pasting, cut and and. How do you, okay? Well, how do you feel about uh, the whole digital uh, evolution? A lot more people. There's a lot of people that uh, start as traditional artists that I personally know uh, that have converted to digital and they prefer it. Uh, and and do you think it's almost? I mean, th there's skill in what you do, and there's still what digital artists do. But I mean, would you say it's a little easier? I mean, it's kind of cheating because you can always undo something that you didn't like. Yeah, but you know, you can do the same thing in in painting. Um... For me, it's not not at all cheating. And from the start, when I started out painting, I was really into some concept artists, and I still love uh, a lot of digital art. Um, for me, it, it really just requires a, a good good eye to, to actually pull it off. And I've been trying to to do some a couple of, of digital paintings, and I. Cannot pull it off. <laughs> so for me, it's uh, I'm, I'm very impressed when I see a really good like, drawing. Do you own a tablet, or are you trying to do it with a mouse? I do have a tablet. Okay. But, uh, for me, it's just you know trying to do the like the most basic stuff a little faster. <laughs> I'm not a good uh, digital artist, but um, no, all respect to, to digital artists. Um, and also had a couple of. Uh, uh, I was trying to teach a couple of guys how to paint, um, and they were previously working with, with uh, tablets and, and concept art, and they just took the whole painting so easily. Uh, and I think you, know, you need some some sort of. Uh, Thanks same for watching type another mad skin. artist interview. See the full interview at thecompleteartistbook.com. Buy the video workshop and learn from the top industry professionals today. For more interviews and video workshops, visit madartistpublishing.com. It's time to get on the map.